What's up everybody, I hope everybody's having a good day today Espero que todos estén teniendo un gran día hoy En el video de hoy, este, le vamos a intentar cambiar los sellos a las puertas Porque cuando voy en el freeway hace mucho ruido Y ya me está hartando, por fin las partes me llegaron Y, y vamos a cambiárselas So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to change the seals from the doors Because when I'm on the highway it makes a lot of, like a whistling noise And I'm already tired of it And the parts finally came in So we're gonna try to install those today. Hopefully there's time after work and uh, I can get some footage of it guys. All right, let's get it. Si escuchan ese ruido, ese es el ruido que ya me tiene hasta la chingada. That's the noise that's driving me crazy. Both sides, that's why we're doing the seals. Yeah, guys, let's get it, let's get it. I'll pick up the camera later when we get a chance and uh, show you guys how to do it, let's do it. Alright guys, take out all the trim around the, the seal. Quiten todos los plásticos que estén alrededor. Solo son clips, they're, they're just clips, they pop out. This right here, that bottom bowl, you can't get to it unless you take the seat out, so don't even bother. The top one, loosen it out almost all the way, and then pop all the clips all the way down. Right here we have the new seals. You can see right there, they come from the dealer. The part numbers are right there in case you guys want to get them. I always recommend getting it from the dealer, that way you know it's going to work for sure. Aquí tenemos las, las partes nuevas del dealer recomendables. Right here we compare the new with the old. We can see how what the difference is right there. Y aquí ya estaba lista ya cuando la había terminado when, when I had put the new one in and it looks much better guys. Hopefully it works. Alright guys, it is another day. It got dark on us the other day and we didn't finish it. Se nos hizo de noche y no pudimos acabarlo. Pero aquí está el otro lado. We're gonna do the other side now. Same procedure. We're gonna take out all these plastics. This plastic, this plastic, this plastic, este. This one right here, you only take off the, the board on top. And uh, you don't even take it out of the way. You just loosen it. And you just pry on this and, and it'll come out. I'm gonna put it on, uh, on time lapse and let's get it. All you do, you start peeling it off like this. Así lo van quitando. I spray a little bit of brake cleaner right here and just make sure you wipe everything off that way the new the new seal the new weather strip it just goes on there easily asegúrense de limpiar toda esta tierra que se queda aquí yo le eché brake cleaner le pueden echar alcohol lo, lo que sea que limpie más asegúrense de limpiarle todo bien aquí here we have the new part la vamos a ir poniendo despacito, slowly, así se la van poniendo, slowly, slowly, you, section by section, that way you don't get any wrinkles. And uh, yeah, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then I'll, I'll show you guys the final result. And then we're gonna go test drive and make sure it doesn't make no more noise. Let's get it. All right, guys, it's already in right here. Everything is pretty much really easy. The hardest part is gonna be right here where this black or back trim is at right here where the seats are but i was not gonna take this plastic off on a 20 year old truck and break every single clip so well you just gotta pry it at the same time with one hand and with the other one start slipping the the sea wonder and it'll work pero hay que dos chavalos para que vean vamos a ver si funciona esto es muy fácil hacer esto la única parte difícil fue aquí atrás por culpa de este plástico pero no lo vamos a quitar porque se puede quebrar pero ahí quedó, vamos a poner los plásticos que van aquí. We're gonna put the plastics that go right here and get their truck ready to go test drive and see what it does. All right, guys, that's our final result. Finish both sides. Everything's nice and neat. Now we're gonna go test drive it and uh, get on the highway. That's where we were hearing most of the noise. Nos vamos a ir a subir al freeway. A ver si todavía se escucha ruido. This truck interior is coming along. 
I really never show this truck because this one's a daily and I just use it for work so it's never clean but I started buying a bunch of parts for it just haven't had time to install them but we're gonna start doing simpler stuff and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do it here's the old seals right here they're all crusty already and then uh, they're supposed to be kind of hard and they were all like squishy already so they're probably letting a bunch of air in and then when it would rain really hard water would come inside too but yeah guys let's go test drive the daily and then see how it went to find out if this worked vamos a ir a ver si si funcionó and yes i do hate my tent i do need to get brighter lights for this truck too because that's really a hassle driving this truck at night look as y'all can see with my tent what tent officer even the windshield but yeah guys let's get it que nos subamos al freeway nos vamos a dar cuenta si funcionó o no right now as soon as we get on the freeway we're gonna find out if it worked or not parts i want to install for this truck most of the parts i put on this truck i do it i don't really record it or anything because it's my daily so i always do it like when i'm at work and stuff and and i'm always in a rush so i don't even have time to record but there, there is new things coming for the channel guys i know I've, i've been gone for a long time i've just been really busy with work but i promise guys i do i do not want to stop making videos i want to start making more a lot of people are asking me what's going on and it's just work guys nothing else just been really busy pero gracias a dios hay mucho trabajo that's the good thing that there's a lot of work and uh we'll, we'll just make the time to to start making more videos and uh mainly with my videos focus about i like working on these trucks on the gmt 800s the 99 to 06 07 gm trucks i, I really like these trucks since i was little and uh i, I love like kind of like restoring them not not like like professionally yet but i like like replacing stuff like this like door seals plastics uh, things to make it look newer or sound newer but it sucks guys because it's, it's getting tougher to get parts for these vehicles it's getting harder to find them and and like when doing trim or, or, or interior work it's really risky because if you crack a plastic then uh it'll be really hard to find one you have to go to the junkyard and right there guys it already sounds way better i still hear a little bit of noise but i believe that would be because it's really windy outside today but it's nothing compared to what it was before it definitely sounds way better it used to sound like like there was a storm in here a thunderstorm or something but nah you can't really hear it i have to try hard to hear it but i believe it's because it's windy outside but it's way better i already like it already it was well worth it i did get those seals from the dealer surprisingly they still had them in stock somewhere and uh whatever i can find in the dealer i buy from the dealer even if it's really expensive but that's the only way to go that's the only way that you know for sure that part's gonna fit perfect fitment you're not gonna have any problems aftermarket parts aren't bad but it is really hard getting the right thing um but yeah guys it does sound way better really like it and uh i do got a lot of plans for this truck first of all i want to get it painted already because i already have the bumpers i bought the bumpers i bought a, uh the kit to install the fog lights and everything but i don't want to install all that if i'm gonna have to take it apart again to, to paint it so i'm waiting on that i do have a bunch of parts already ready and as far as my black truck i don't know what's gonna happen with that truck because man i i really never have time to drive it or anything I might end up selling it if anybody's interest in that truck let me know located in the san antonio area you already know everything i've done to that truck well taken care of never drive that truck never i bought that truck with like i don't even remember it I, it almost had a 180k but i don't even think it has the 180k yet i'm not sure but I really never drive that truck so i'm trying to free up space in my house so if anybody's interested let me know but yeah guys make sure you guys stay tuned for the next video we are going to start working on this truck a lot more